shop today, we have a 2000 Pontiac Grand Am with a 3.4 Vinny engine. And it has a little over 154,000 miles on it. It has a reoccurring check engine light and code PO440 stored. Code PO440 means during a system evaporative or evap leak test, the system was unable to attain the proper vacuum level. The purpose of the evap system is to allow fuel vapor to flow from the fuel tank and canister to the engine and not to the atmosphere. The owner of the vehicle has replaced the fuel cap twice and the code returns after a couple trips. We started with a visual inspection of the system. We didn't find any problems. We also checked the fuel tank pressure sensor voltage with the scan tool. With the fuel cap off, we read 1.47 volts, which is well within the specs of 1.3 to 1.7 volts. It appears there's a leak somewhere in the system. Let's go check it out. The best way we found to find a leak in the EVAP system is to use a smoke machine with the UV dye mixed in the oil. Our choice for this job is the smoke wizard. We first closed the vent solenoid with the scan tool and ran the smoke into the test port. As you can see by the leak detection ball, it indicates there were no leaks. We then tested the purge and vent solenoids to make sure they were not intermittently sticking. We did this by activating and deactivating them at the same time we were shooting smoke into them. You can activate the solenoids with the scan tool 9 volt battery or with a power probe. The purge valve is normally closed and once it's activated it should leak smoke like this. On the other hand the vent solenoid is normally open. It should leak smoke until it is activated. We found both solenoids to be working as they should. So now what? The computer says there is a low testing vacuum problem. We checked the pressure sensor and the system seems to be tight and the solenoids functioning correctly. We did notice one thing. While we were smoking the system, we wanted to make sure the smoke was getting through. So we removed the fuel cap and guess what? No smoke escaped. Well, we dug a little deeper and here's what we found. The fuel tank on this system incorporates a fuel limiter vent valve. This unidirectional valve is used to ventilate the tank while filling, and it also prevents excessive leakage should a vehicle rollover occur. When we pull the hose from the filler neck to the tank, no smoke escaped from either end. We then shot the smoke into the tank directly from the filler neck hose. No leaks were found in the tank. This system also has a spitback valve in the filler neck. This prevents kickback during refueling. We decided to pinch the hose off from the filler net and feed the smoke from the catheter using this handy adapter. Look at the position of the leak detection ball now. We definitely have a leak associated with this filler net. Using a laser, it's obvious we have a leak around the cap area. Remember, this cap has been replaced. Let's take a closer look. It's a little hard to see through the eye of the camera, but using the black light and looking close at the ceiling point of the cap, you can see where the die is only on the inside of the ceiling area. This means the cap is doing its job. This filler neck uses a plastic cap locking mechanism inserted into the metal pipe. The cap seals to this plastic insert. When we look very closely, it is clear a leak is coming from between the plastic insert and metal pipe. When the pipe begins to oxidize around the plastic, a gap between the two is created. Here is another view with the pipe removed. Now you can clearly see the dye with the tinted glasses held in front of the tank. The filler neck was replaced and the codes were cleared. It has been several months since the repair, and the PO440 code has not reset. Well, that's it for today. If you would like to help others find this information, be sure to click the Like and Google Plus button below. You are also more than welcome to link to it. 
See you again next time in the Wells Garage.